Hi. Hey guys. Hi. We're back. We're in Salem, Salem Mass. Mass today doing a pre-Halloween walkthrough. Yes. Kind of cool. We're going to check out the Salem Witch Museum. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to lunch. Yep. Walk around. Yep. Show and you guys the town. We are in the garage right now. We're in the garage right now. We picked kind of a crappy day to be here. I guess there's a marathon going on and all yeah, kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's very busy. Yep. So um, let's go check it out and see what we can do. All right, let's go. Cool. Anybody remember this movie, the show Angel? With David Boreanaz? Walking all the way into the back of the store, we've got the Exorcist doll, a Friday the 13th doll, <gasps> look Michelle, Beetlejuice, and Chucky from Child's Play 3 who can apparently talk. A witch and Fairy Emporium, cool, what's in here? It's a Salem Spirit jersey, that's kinda cool. I think it's cheaper you like the Disney. smell? Cool. Look at all the animal shirts up on the wall. Look at the bun. Ooh, a couple of dragons fighting. Dudes on them. There's a pit bull over there. Bewitched in Salem. Wonder what's in there. So there's no photography, no cell phone use, uh, and no Pokemon playing. What? Oh, the Witch Picks Costume Studio. You can dress up and go take pictures. That's kind of cool. Maybe one day. Well, that was kind of fun, but everybody in there is very oppressive. Uh, there's, like, you can't like take pictures or video or anything, and that's that's fine, but we'll go somewhere else. Ooh, Salem's premier haunted house. You guys interested in the haunted house this year? Yeah. We did it last year, you guys freaked out. <laughs> we got the Witch History Museum with guided tours. 10 to five, seven days a week. CVS, the only place you need in Salem, Mass. Right? Yes. Psychic readings are available. Anybody want to go get their psychic read? Sure. Over here we have the Twilight House, creepy with witches. You guys want to go in? No. Let's go. Come on, let's go check it out. Apparently when they're closed, they're actually dead. This is creepy stuff. No? Oh, these are like Harry Potter yeah. wine glasses. They have Gryffindor, I don't know if you can see it, but this one says Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. This is Slytherin and Which house would you Hufflepuff. be? Hufflepuff. I don't know, I'd probably be a Gryffindor. Maybe a Slytherin. 
check it out. All the Harry Potter stuff, 3D puzzles, and a board game of magical beasts. Check it out, a Nimbus 2000. That's cool. That is not Ariel. That is an awesome shirt, and I would probably wear it if it weren't white. Yeah, you don't like white shirts. No, I'm not into white. You guys know what's across the street? What? My favorite statue. What? It's Samantha from Bewitched. Let's statue? go check it out. Yeah, you didn't know that? No. Yeah, check out this statue. It's Sam from Bewitched. It's a cool statue, right? Do you guys like it? See? Oh yeah, I know Bewitched. Elizabeth Bonk Emery as Samantha Stevens. Hair of gold, eyes that twinkled, a nose that neatly twitched. Clever, charming, and enchanting, Samantha left us all bewitched. So if you're ever in Salem, there's this awesome little place which we're probably not gonna eat at today called Gulu Gulu Cafe. Yeah, it's got a lot of healthier and vegan options and it's a really great place to eat, so I'd recommend it. And over here we have the Salem Little Free Library. You guys got anything good? The hour I first believed. Tips and tricks for cat owners. Father. I know. Huh. What is this? And here's some, here's some kid books on the bottom, cool. Here's the army barracks store, it's kinda cool. I'm not sure what this guy in the window is supposed to be. Maybe a coffee mug with a mean face on it. A pirate coffee mug. Kinda cool though. Oh, we figured it out. It's the ugly mug diner. This main strip that we're walking down has just a ton of restaurants. There's a lot of really cool places to eat too, so I'm not sure where we want to go. Over here's the Adriatic restaurant, and it's totally dead, and we could sit outside. Huh, let's go look at the menu. Ooh, there's some good looking appetizers, grilled octopus. Mains include Mediterranean salmon and spaghetti with clams. Greek salads. I don't necessarily see anything the kids might eat though. I was hoping actually to see more Halloween stuff going on, even though it's mid-September right now, I was hoping there would be a little bit more going on. Yeah. It's too bad, just the stores that we just checked out are the only places that really have it. They're always like that. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much true. They're always yeah. like that. Hmm. Here's passage to India with fine Indian cuisine. So these scooters right here are rental scooters. You can, I think, go onto an app and pay for them and then spin around town, the spin segways. How cool is that? Electric? Yeah. So apparently Tavern in the Square didn't do very well because this used to be Tavern in the Square, right? Did it? Yeah. And now it is... This is the Derby. Oh. I really like all of, all of the industrial stuff up on the top. And these lights back here are really cool too. Yeah, and the copper ceilings are really cool. Look at those lights, I love them. It's called the Derby. So I guess we decided on the Derby in Salem. This is kind of cool, the menu looks pretty good. Here's the menu. Let's look at the kids. This is, oh, this is just. What do you guys feel like? I'm thinking the po' boy tacos might be my thing. Cajun fried shrimp, remoulade, and sweet slaw. That sounds great. We got kind of a cool seat right here where you, you can sit. And then when you turn around, you can look right out the window, which is kind of cool. All right, dude, what'd you get for a drink? I got the Wachusa Pearl. Oh, how is it? Right. Nice. I got the Fiddlehead. Oh, okay. Well, it's a really good IPA. I like it. Miles, what'd you get for a drink? Soda water and gin. And water? How's your soda? Oh, yeah, there you go. That's right. Try them both, buddy. Lady, what'd you get? I got the same thing. How is it? Boring. Just wanted to show you guys, I found this on the table. It's the regret sauce. What do you think the regret sauce means? It means that you can still regret it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Yep. I'm gonna try a little bit of this on this. Oh, should I do it? What? Do it. Oh, that's a big scoop. That's a big, should I do it? Do it. Alright, on a scale of 0 to 10 hots, 
instantly, How many hots is it? Instantly, it's zero hots. It just I'm takes still, a minute. I'm still waiting for it. I'm still waiting for the regret. But the regret might come after it sets in. Yeah. It's getting a little spicy, but it's not. Should I do okay. it? Oh, oh, I'm sweating a little bit now. Oh. It's not that bad. No? No. I'll let you know in a few minutes if it gets worse. All right. All right, we have a special treat. Amanda's gonna try the regret sauce. Let's see it. Just a little bit. Can you come have a whole... Come on. You can do it. I'm starving. It is not coming out. Oh yeah, do it. That big blob, do it. How are you feeling? Not bad. It's not bad, right? I've had way, way hotter. Oh, okay, there. Did you find it? Is it really, really spicy? Oh, the food's here. Miles, what'd you get? That's dinner time. Dude, that is crazy amounts of food right now. Wow. Michelle, you got the mac and cheese too? That looks so Oh my god. I have this chicken sandwich. I got some po' boy tacos. Um, some po' boy Cajun shrimp tacos with fried Cajun shrimp. That looks really good. I and you, what'd you get? Um, chicken sandwich. Oh and it's my got gosh. avocado mash on it. Whoa! That looks Swiss awesome. Swiss cheese. I know. It's so good. I tried it on my lips. It's very hot. Yeah? We're gonna have to give it a minute. Yeah, and then well, I guess we'll get back to you when we're trying Yep. The four cheese mac and cheese Michelle taste test. How is it? Try it a little bit at a time. Whoa. Good? It's like the best ever, right? Michelle, Miles, how are we doing? Let's see it. Best ever? Is it good? I'll assume that that was the best ever. Now try again. So good. It looks awesome. How, what's yours look like? Is it good? Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm. That's tasty. Oh, I can kind of taste the avocado mash. It's really good. All right, what about yours, buddy? Right, so I got po' boy tacos with Cajun grilled fried shrimp. I'm crazy excited for this. Oh, it looks cheesy. Oh my god. Oh. That's amazing. Wow. Is it, what is it, what do you taste? So the Cajun fried shrimp. It's not too battery or too bready, so it's really good. Awesome. That's an awesome so meal. I love it. I thought I'd jump back in and show you guys how much our lunch was. Actually for lunch, $70 is a lot of money, I feel like. Yeah, it's like a Disney meal. Whoa, Dig Dug! When was the last time you saw a Dig Dug machine inside a restaurant? Cool, play it, dude. You can't play it. All right, we just finished lunch. How was it? Yeah. Yeah. The derby was pretty awesome. I'm not thrilled that it was a um, a brunch meal. Necessarily. Yeah, breakfast items, we're not a big breakfast people. Yeah, I'm not a breakfast guy, so kind of not thrilled, options. but the po' boy tacos with the Cajun shrimp was really good. My chicken sandwich. Looked bomb. Was really good. And, and the mac and cheese you guys got was like insane. amazing. Insane. So you know what we're going to do now? We're going to go check out Artist's Row, or handcrafted, row artist. or row artist, depending on how you look at it. Over here we have some Waikiki Beach t-shirts. Over here are the restrooms and they have a calendar with a farmer's market on it. And a flea market too. That's kind of neat. The lights? That looks so cool. Over here we have ceramics by Sybil. It's kind of cool. I think these are some of her ceramics. You want to check them out? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. It's a butter dish. I don't know what that is on top, but I like it. It's a honeybee. Honey and look that's at the cute a, hummingbirds. That's a honeycomb with a bee on it. Oh, look at this. A pumpkin. A jack-o'-lantern, if you will. Oh, Got another couple glass? of pumpkins up here. Oh, I really like that utensil holder. And the hen holding the utensils is kind of cool, too. Oh, daddy. Yeah. Um, and a hen holding some straw. I like so it. We're not really sure what's going on in here, but something. 
And over here we have Grayson Diggs, experiments in the designs of small things. That place looks kind of cool too. And here we go, the lobster shanty. Ooh, that looks great. I bet they have a great menu. Oh, it's cool. Ooh, let's go check out the menu for the lobster shanty. Lots of, ooh, fried calamari. Pan seared mozzarella. That, that is something I would love to have. Some old school, some poutine and old school nachos. Oh, we should come here. Should have. Well, you can get a boiled lobster for market price. And then they have a bunch of wine and whiskey selections. Warm beers? What? Where do you see warm beers? Warm beers. Oh, that's weird. Is that like a stout? Like a No, I don't want a warm Budweiser. The outside seating looks kind of cool too. Ooh, look at the tour bus going by. Frankenstein's castle. That's kind of cool. So there's, there's two things that I want to do. Yeah. One is I want to head over to where they have all of the um, the like spooky houses and the witch stuff. Yeah. Um, not necessarily go in because we can't record, but uh, maybe we'll just go down, check it out, and see what's over there. The other thing I want to do is go over to the Salem Central Park. I forget the the Salem Common. I think it's called. Yep. And then maybe if it's not too busy, we'll hit the Witch Museum on the way out. Yeah. yeah. We have tickets for already. Yeah. So, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's check it out. So in Salem, they have this red line on the ground, which is kind of cool. It's a uh, part of a tour that you can do. Have you guys? We've never been on the tour, right? No. So I guess it's a tour that takes you around Salem and shows you all the history and talks about some of the uh, the Salem witch trials. And then um, I think it stops over at the witch trial museum, where you can go through and it gives you the history on some of the actual trials and, and what they actually did. Oh, One day we should check that it. out. Yeah. So this place is actually really cool. This place set apart in Salem for the burial of the dead. And since 1637? Whoa! Oh no, not Nathaniel Hawthorne. <clears throat> John Hawthorne. Known as the Burying Point. Contains the graves of Conover Broad, Broad, Bradstreet, Chief Justice Lynch, and others who... And others whose... Virtues. Virtues, honors, courage, and... Sex. Sa sagacity. Sagacity. Have never heard that word before. Nobly illustrated the, the history of Salem. Let's go check this place out. Okay. So, so this is the first burying pl place ever in Salem. It's called the Burying Point, and it's the oldest burying ground in the city of Salem. And we have Captain Richard Moore of the oh, Mayflower, Mayflower, John Hawthorne of the Witchcraft Court, Samuel McIntyre, Simon Bradstreet, Chief Justice Benjamin Lind, Lindy, Lindy? And Reverend John Higginson. Hi. Cool. I thought you had to pay to get in here. Let's go check this place out. dates on this. Like, let's go look over here. In memory of Margaret Hilliard, who died in 1826 at age 84. 1826? Yeah, I feel like 84 is really old for back in the 1800s. Like, she lived a long, long yeah. life. Look at this one. Here lies interred in body of Mrs. Mary Higginson. There's another Higginson wife of the late Reverend John Higginson departed? departed this life March 9th, 1708. 73 years of age. All right, this is where a couple of the museums are. The Salem Witch Village, 
and the Salem Wax Museum. This is where we went last time. It was kind of cool, um, a little boring. Over here we have the Salem Witch Village. And then there used to be, and there still is, Frankenstein's Castle. Yeah, where you go down and they kind of scare you a little bit, huh? Yeah, there used to be a food truck right here, remember? Yep, there is right, currently a kebab and falafel place right over there. And then there's Paprika's Grill and Turkish Cuisine. Where do we go? Where Which we I don't go? think right fits here. the we theming down here. Oh yeah, this is where you go down and watch a spell yeah. casting. Well, we did. We, ca we all cast a spell on our yeah. piece of twine. Remember? Yep. We like made a wish. And yeah, it was kind of cool. Yeah. Hang him. Well, I done did it again. <laughs> I'm up for the gallows. Can I take one of these home? Yes. And here we have Amanda right where she belongs. <laughs> Want to go look in the Salem Witch Village? Let's go check it out. Might be cool. Whoa, creepy stuff. Oh, look at the big gargoyle up on the wall up there. It's so creepy. Which is brew mugs. That's cool. I get popped here. We get some cauldrons and witches over here. And for you fanatics, we have nutcrackers with the devil or holding a bat. Look at the creepy trees. They look are they ants? Is that what these are? Right? Creepy. Look at all the masks. I wanna wear some of these. That's a cool mask right there. The Day of the Dead. There's another also mini chapeaus and a little red headband. Creepy costume. And lots of skulls decorated for Day of the Dead. It's a spell book. Oh, secret box. Cool. Frankenstein's castle and haunted house. Check it out. Enter if you dare. Michelle, do you dare? Yes. Yeah, you dare to go in? Yeah. Miles, do you dare? Yep, I cool. To to oh, there's pirates climbing up. What must that mean? A pirate museum! How cool is this? Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life. Whoa. <laughs> Over here we have Fatima's Psychic Studio. There's a lot of those here, huh? There's a lot of psychic readings going on. Palm, aura, tarot, and psychic. So as long as the line doesn't look too long, we've got free passes to this. Yeah. The Salem Witch Museum. No, it looks like a You think, really what do you think, Michelle? Is it creepy or cool? Cool. I'm excited, look at this place. It's more cool than creepy. Yeah. It doesn't look very busy, so let's go check it out. Things? No. We definitely did it. What will I see? Here we go, here's admission prices too. It's not that bad. Whoa, over here we have examples of the 17th century New England clothing. These are girls clothes, and those are boys clothes. And here's a list of all the persons accused of witchcraft in 1692. These are all the hanged, and then all the afflicted. So that was interesting. No. <laughs> I couldn't record anything in there, and it's probably for the best it was really dark anyway. But um, I don't know, what did you think? Um, it was kind of cool. I learned about the past, and um, people believed the in witches. The history of the witches? Hold the, people yeah. People believed in witches, and I think that was really kind of weird. Kind of creepy? What'd you think? No, not kind of cool. Creepy. I thought it was yeah. creepy. The show was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I, the Salem witch trials really interest me. Aha. Uh -huh. Like I love the crucible. Yes. So that was neat, but uh, I was kind of done with it by the end. Yeah, 20 minutes, I couldn't do the walking tour. Yeah. Miles, what do you think? Um, I think it was scary. Scary? <laughs> well, now we're going over to the park. Let's go check it out. If you ever do intend to go see it, maybe don't take young kids and plan about an hour where you're going to be sitting and then walking around. It was, it was good. Just probably won't ever do it again. We do it. This is cool. That's neat. And over here they're doing some croquet. 
This is cool, the historical huh? Society. Oh, is that what this is? The historical society? Yeah. Neat. But right back there is where we're heading. The wow. park. Well, that is gonna wrap up our pre-Halloween day in Salem. Uh, it was kind of fun. We got one more thing we're gonna check out. Well, what are we gonna check out? We're gonna check out the house from Hocus Pocus. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go play at the park, and then before we leave, we're gonna go check out the Hocus Pocus house. And that will end it. So from all of us, to all of you. Don't forget to bring home the milk. Bye. We are heading over to the house that they used as the facade from Hocus Pocus. Oh, this is where... Um, the, here it is, right here. What's his name lived? I don't know who lived here, but this is the house they used as the, the facade character. for oh, Hocus Pocus. And the girl. Oh, um... Can't Jar Jar Binks. Wow. This is the view that you have from the Hocus Pocus house, which we're gonna go drive by one more time. <laughs> and not be creepy. And there hopefully not be creepy. It's kind of cool, right? What a cool house. No eye contact. No eye contact.